All right, we have once again one of the biggest games of the season coming up for both teams, I guess. Oh, uh, we can actually view the playoff picture. You might be wondering, how you guys six and six? I thought you were uh, five and six where we left off. I did play uh, the game against the 49ers on my own because I figured we were out of the playoff picture. But if you look at the playoff picture, the Broncos are sitting at number seven. That is the only thing I care about because the Bills basically clinched the AFC East. It's over. The Bills got it. There's no way we come back and grab it. So number seven is the only spot I'm looking at because that is, you know, the final spot we can get in the playoffs. And as you see, the Broncos have it. If we go over to the league, you can see that the Broncos are currently 7-5 and five, and they'll be going up against the division-leading Chiefs. So whoever wins that game, I believe, leads the division. Uh, so that doesn't help. So we need the Broncos to lose. The Broncos need to lose that game. The Browns need to lose. The Raiders need to lose, and the Jets need to lose. So, every game besides the Jets game is either before us or happens at the same time as us. Uh, we are going up against my favorite team, the Los Angeles Chargers. Uh, so, Jets, we're hoping the Bills can beat them. It's looking good. The Raiders will be facing the Super Bowl champion Rams, and the Browns will be facing the Super Bowl runner-up, Bengals. So... It's favorable if we can win against this stack Chargers defense. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have anything else pop up for these. Um, so, the yeah, I think these are basically done for the season. All right, weekly goals. We're going to try and rush for two touchdowns. Uh, we are facing one of the better defenses in the league. We're facing Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack, and we have three skill points to upgrade. I think I am going to go... With power moves. Yeah. I'm going to go power moves. Get my trucking up to a 78. And get my Sif arm up to an 80. One. And we'll have truck on bronze. If we upgrade our power moves. And we will do just that. We got truck on bronze. I'm trying to be a powerhouse of a running back. Uh, anyways. You already saw the playoff picture. Must win. Must win game. Alright. We're here at the wonderful SoFi Stadium. I'm going against my favorite team. In the Los Angeles. Chargers, I'll mention that forever as long as we face the Chargers. Uh, there's my stats for the season. Amazing. Honestly, I was first in the MVP when we were 5-4. and four. I'm not sure if I'm going to be first now. Uh, definitely not going to be first if we don't make the playoffs. But this Chargers defense is beyond stacked. J.C. Jackson, Asante Samuel, Khalil Mack, Joey Bosa, Derwin James. And that defense, Joey Bosa, Khalil Mack, are going to be pains in the ass to uh, go up against and try run against. And then we got to deal with their offense of oh, that man right there, Justin Herbert, Keenan Allen, and Austin Eckler. It's going to be a tough one. All right, so our defense, they did their job, and they held up uh, the Chargers' powerhouse of an offense. And we somehow are always backed up behind our own 10. And I actually lost yardage there on that play. We're going to send Tyreek Kill long. And see if he can get past. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Teddy. Oh, he's going to. No, he's not going to get tackled. 91 yard passing touchdown to start off our drive. That already huge. Tyreek Hill, what a play. And our defense answers right back. I'm going to flip this play. And I'm going to put pass protection. I am going to double team Sir Khalil Mack, who has an X Factor. So he is did not get double teamed. There. What was that? We really need to try and take advantage of what our defense is giving us here, stopping this offense. Come on now, as I'm gonna finally get a big run. Can I truck through Adderley? No, I cannot. But good run. Third and five already. Kind of expected that. See what we can do here. See if we can move the sticks. And I'm hoping he completed that. That should be a first down. It is. Let's also mention how this charge, it wasn't this Chargers defense, but the Chargers defense last year was the worst um, defense against the run. So it'd be nice if uh, they can show uh, signs of that in this game because uh, they're also fighting for a playoff spot. That Kansas City Chiefs game is a Sunday Night Football game, so we not see the score. Please, I thought I was going to be able to chuck Tranquil. And the Raiders did lose, so that's big. So if we can win, if... We can win. We will be above the Raiders in the standings. So we just need to get that block. 
Uh, I did not get the first down. We just need the, I think, Browns, Jets, and Broncos to lose. And the Jets won. The Jets beat the Bills. You had one job and you failed. And we're actually going for it on fourth and three. Don't know why. We're going to convert. Definitely going to convert. And we're going to get a big yardage here. But really, Buffalo, you all lost to the Jets. And the Browns won. Oh, we're struggling, bro. We're at 31 here. They want to pass it. But I'm tempted to run it. And I'm going to. I'm going to run it and see if I can get this first down. And I definitely will. Hoping to get a lot more. But we're at the one now. First and goal. Oh, they are stacking it. So, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to run. And touchdown. Tyreek Hill. Right? I think. I think Tyreek Hill's second touchdown of the game. We're up by two scores. The one skin backed up all the way behind our own 10. Like, oh, I, what are these punters doing, bro? It's all right. I thought I was going to get a big run, but I only get a gain of three. Tyreek Hill might have a big run here. I don't know why my QC screen is flickering. Uh, Tyreek Hill might have a big play here. Nope, he's not going to. So, you know what? Just give it to me, and I'll get you the big play. Tyreek Hill might have a touchdown here. Tyreek Hill might have a touchdown here. He does not because Teddy Bridgewater threw it up the middle, but we still got yards. All right, we're in field goal range, so you know what? I'm going to do one more pass play and see if I can get. And it's a pick six. And it's a pick six. I should have just ran the ball and got a field goal. Well, now this is definitely a must-score drive. Uh, after I caused the pick six. Yep, definitely was my fault. Not going to lie. Uh, so, we're starting that off really good. Like, it's sad when I'm hesitant to pick a passing play. Because I'm so scared it's going to be an interception. What What did I just say? What did I just say? And our defense still only held him to three. Like, I, it's, I'm legit scared to pick any passing play. Because it's just going to result in a turnover. And they're going to keep scoring on those turnovers. Like, and then we're guaranteed a loss at that point. It's just sad. Honestly, sad where I'm scared to have my team pass because the quarterback situation is so crap. So terrible. Now, can I even convert? I'm not even going to pass on this play. And no, I'm not going to convert because our offensive line is terrible. And well, what did I just say? What did I just say? Now all the momentum is on their side. They have all the momentum. We have double their yards. But they're, they're winning because of that one interception. And we can't, if legit, every single time I'm close to a big run, it's just they need to make one block and I'm gone and they can't make that one block. They can't make that one block. Like, did you just see how Tyreek Hill ran to the other side of the field to get that block instead of blocking the guy in front of him? That's the type of crap I'm talking about. That's, that's what I'm talking about when it comes to Madden. It's just so idiotic. Got a third and two here. Can we convert? I don't know. Does it sound like I think we can? No, it doesn't. And guess what, guys? We didn't convert. And are they going to let us go for it? No, of course not. Of course not. If you guys are going to go for it, you better get it. Oh, they are, they are, it's still fourth and inches. So just coming out of the quarter end, you're going to let us go for it now? And I, the way Kenneth Murray was running, I thought we were done. Got another big third down, third and two. Can I convert? Because I'm not passing it. I can tell you that much. Definitely not passing it. And I am going to convert. And I'm going to break a lot of tackles. And guarantee us a field goal if we don't do something stupid. Like go for it when I'm not in the game. Which has happened before. I have my X Factor. I'll probably lose it within two plays. Uh... I almost lost it in one play, but I'm going to gain about six yards. Second and four. I Honestly, with this Chargers defense, there's no good way to run. There's no good direction to run. Left or right, you're screwed. So I'm just going to go this way, uh, away from Khalil Mack. That should be a first down. Okay. I don't want to switch this whole play. Teddy, you better not pass it. You better not. No way. I didn't get that. Now I'm going to lose my X factor, aren't I? I didn't want to pick a run play. I did not lose my X Factor. But now, since I didn't pick a pass play, we're probably going to get eaten up. Please. Bro, can you guys block someone? Please, just block someone. 
We got a score here. We got a score here. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna. My first touchdown of the game. We have the lead. And we need to pray to the football gods up above that our defense can do it. I tied Marshall Falk for the fourth most touchdowns in the season with 26. Defense, please. Our defense did it. They forced a turnover. And I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, but basically losers out of the playoffs essentially as i'm gonna lose a yard and my x factor so that's oh no i still got it oh yeah so whoever loses they're basically out like if we lose it it's gonna take a miracle to get back into the playoffs but 42 rushes almost 200 rushing yards about to be a two minute warning it's looking promising and we are going to get biggest victory of the season even though we're still on the outside of the playoff picture we are going to knock the chargers out of the playoffs and keep our hopes alive as we go. Well, I think we're at 500. I think we go six and six now on the season, or seven and six. I honestly forgot. Uh, but our playoff hopes are alive. Teddy Bridgewater finally had a good game, just like his first game. He started the season 10 for 13, two touchdowns. Did have two retarded interceptions, but it's fine. Herbert got completely clamped up. Our defense starting to look like at the beginning of the season. I once again had 50 attempts. I have a feeling we're undefeated when I attempt uh, 40 or more rushes. I might be wrong. I might have to go back and look. But 226 yards, a touchdown. And even with 50 attempts, 4.5 yards per carry is still really good. Uh, Receiving-wise, Tyreek Hill, 3 catches, 97 yards, 2 touchdowns. Keenan Allen almost matched him. So that's saying a lot right there. But that's going to be it for me. Next episode, you will see where we are in the playoff standings. I know we won't be in the playoff picture. But if we can win out the rest of the season, it will look good. So that's going to be it for me. GG's.